What's up, YouTube? Today we are looking at H, but GEC obviously H forty twenty one red jig bone small seed, and uh, I almost said sneed because I spend too much time on the internet. Anyway, let's continue. There we are. So this is bone, obviously, that has been jigged. I'm going to use bowling alley wax. This is a larger piece. I'm going to get it right on there right away because it has to dry before I buff it out. Bowling alley wax is kind of a alternative to the Renaissance wax. Um, people kind of bellyache over the Ren wax, not telling you it's food safe. Um, well, I can tell you this is made from the wax of tropical plants, like the waxy leaves of palm trees. And they also use it in stuff like candy that you eat. So, bellyache no more. Would I necessarily take a teaspoon of this to the mouth? No, I probably wouldn't do that. But that's just me. You do what you want. I'm going to put a generous amount on does take a second to dry. This is the bigger version of their fixed blades. I really like this handle style. Uh, very neutral in the hand. Hard to go wrong. Um, there's This is very pretty hefty. It feels like you can feel it. The, the balance being right about there. So there is a little bit of heft. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, Okay, so there you go. It's dry. And then you buff. And they actually say they want you to do another coat in 24 hours. Uh, will I do that? I'm not entirely sure, honestly. If it's still around, yeah. I don't. It's not a laziness. I just don't go through all my knives every day. See, now it's protected. Very neat stuff. So if you're thinking about a fixed blade, you get a chance at one of these, I would suggest it. Um, they are actually really nice. I do like the guard here. Um, it's going to keep your hand from jumping over. But yeah, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. And I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.